First of all, rest in power to Jason David Frank, a uh, father of four children. I hate he went out this way, but now it's time to get real. Unpopular opinion. His death came shortly after his wife filed for divorce. And I'm gonna tell you this, marriage has destroyed more men than it has helped. Any institute that is designed to reward somebody with half of your earnings and your belongings that did not work for it simply because they were involved with you is complete garbage. And on top of that, alimony? According to TMZ, Tammy Frank was asking the courts to award her the lion's share of their assets. You ain't fought Nan Putty. You ain't had Nan conversation with Zordon. She ain't never mighty more powered up and gotten to a Megazord. You, it's insane that she could even get half of this man's legacy when all she's done is taekwondo and and taught a few classes and he done promoted her so she could possibly get on and build her own brand now of course a lot of his fans are blaming her for him taking his life and i and i understand like it or not i understand because you served that man at comic-con the most intimate moment that he's having with his diehard fans where he's connecting with people who enjoy and love his work because he built a he built this brand up off his back. Imagine doing what you love and connecting with people from all around the world because they love watching you do what you love. And then somebody gets in line for an autograph and says, hey, I'm a huge fan. Could you sign this for me? And then it turns out to be papers for divorce. Hey, I'd be crushed. This is how bad divorce gets. Gary Owen, who lived in Ohio and is from Ohio, had to serve his wife who lives in California and is from California at Panera Bread so that he would not have to adhere to the laws of California when it comes to divorce proceedings. Because not only would they award her half of his stuff, half of his property, half of his earnings, he, she would also get perpetuity for the rest of his life. She would also get perpetuity from his earnings for the rest of her life. Their kids are grown. Now there are lots of women who make more than men and won't even marry men that make significantly less than them. But men have been doing it and getting railroaded for it. It's a mistake you learned the hard way that you can now help people to avoid. Don't get married, especially if you earn a good income. But if you insist on falling under societal pressure of getting married, get an ironclad prenup. So I finally divorced them after, you know, less than five years of marriage and I still got taken to the cleaners. So me putting that video out there about not getting married is really just to try to help people. So I say to you fellas, I'm glad a lot of y'all are waking up. If you make significantly more than a woman, don't marry her. And if she gives you an ultimatum, either you marry me or the relationship is over, then be done with it because she wasn't, she didn't love you enough to be with you simply to be with you. She was, she loved the idea of marriage more than you. According to TMZ, right before he unlived himself, uh, they had an argument in the hotel. Uh, supposedly, according to his daughter, that they were hashing things out. Tammy took to social media and posted this on her Instagram. The loss of my soulmate, Jason, I can't go on without you. You are my world. Yes, we had our struggles just like any other marriage. But months ago, we agreed it was worth saving. Deep conversations, vulnerability, forgiveness on both our parts. I am deeply lost, hurt, and utterly destroyed. I lost my one and only true love. I am yours forever, firecracker baby, till we're together again. Oh, his fans filled the comment section with Mighty Morphin Power Rage. Not only were you saying terrible things about him, but you were asking for a disproportionate share of his assets. I don't know, this rubs me the wrong way. Stay away from this so-called woman like her king. What a disgusting post after driving your ex to his own demise. You took away our childhood hero. It got so bad, the daughter had to step in and say, hey, hey, hey. Jenna Frank stated, he loved us both so much. We were his family. We were working everything out. If I was her, I'd turn them comments off because my guess is it's only going to get worse. Um, I don't think if you hash some things out, it's going to lead to that. Now, because he is uh, passed away before the divorce proceedings, She's a widow. No court is going to continue on with the divorce process. Nine times out of ten. So now she has the right to all his belongings, all his property, all his assets. Unless he had a will set aside to will it over to other people or trust a will set aside to will it over to other people. She is in charge of his estate. Ironclad prenups have to be super detailed and they still don't cover you like you think they do. Only in a marriage can you walk in broke and then leave out a millionaire. You can't do that with none of these Fortune 500 companies. 
not not coming in as a as a thousand as an employee. You come in. I've seen people work twenty years and leave with a severance package of, of maybe a fifteen hundred dollars. Nick Burger King, that man worked at Burger King, never missed a day in his life, 27 years, and then they gave him a goodie bag filled with candy, Starbucks, cube, and the movie tickets. The internet that was filled with a bunch of generous people had to come together and donate to him in order for him to receive his just due after 27 years of faithful hard work to the grill. I am completely against legal robbery. I am completely against the idea that you can go into a marriage and then walk out with half of something you didn't earn work for. I'm out.